Perry County, Alabama. It used to be one of the wealthiest counties in the state, but the birthplace of Sanford University has since fallen on hard times. Then named Howard College, the school moved from Marion to the new industrial city of Birmingham in 1887, and the wealth would soon follow. Today, more than 35% of the population lives below the poverty line, making Perry County the poorest in the state. In recent years, Sanford faculty and students have given back to the area. Juniors Chris Feit and Nicole Williams are coordinators of University Ministries Perry County Initiative. Uh, the way we see it, uh, the people in, Ma in Marion and the people in Perry County are part of the Sanford community. And so this is a commitment to them because they helped us when we were down and so we're helping them when they're down. Williams says that serving a Perry County has been an eye-opening experience. When you grow up in Alabama, you hear the stories about, you know, the poverty that exists. And I mean, we didn't really see it outside our door, but it exists. And I think that being a part of Marion and being a part of Perry County kind of concretes kind of what we were told as children, you know, about um, the poverty that exists in Alabama. Francis Ford is the director of Sowing Seeds of Hope, a local organization that oversees projects in areas such as health care, housing, and education. Ford says that it has been a joy to work with Sanford students. I have found them to be very professional. Not only have they been very professional, but they have also been compassionate. And when they come, they come not saying that we're coming to do to you, but they come to work with us. In 2005, Sanford purchased a house in Marion to serve as a base for its Perry County operations. The Holly House is also home to Sanford Pharmacy students who spend one month rotations in Marion. Pharmacy students Beth Richardson and Tuong Dang currently live in the Holly House and Richardson says she has already learned a lot. I want to own my own independent pharmacy and I'm definitely going back to work in one. And I'm from a small town, um, just a little bigger than Marion, so I think this experience is going to really help me contribute to my own town. As part of their rotation, Students participate in a free hypertension clinic at the Perry County Health Department. In addition to taking patients' blood pressure, students and professors also help patients manage their medications. So we're taking that one every morning for pain, and maybe in the evenings if you're in We met several patients, most of whom were um, elderly and low income. You know, we got to offer some good tips for them to help them lower their blood pressure, help them live healthier lifestyles, and you know, they just seem really appreciative of our actions there. Ford says that because Perry County's need is so great, every student can make a difference. So if there is any students in, at Sanford that would like to come to Perry County, we welcome you. And we welcome you to come, with, come and bring your skills, your abilities, your talents, and your passion, and we will help you find a place to utilize them. University Ministries is taking a group of students to Marion over spring break, but Fight says there is always a need for more volunteers. You can't have too much help um, when we call them up to do projects. It's not a matter of what can we find to do, it's a matter of what on our list should we have you do. Mm -hmm. Interested students should contact Chris Fight at cdfight at sanford.edu. At Sowing Seeds of Hope, Ford says that student volunteers bring more than just their skills. When you come, you may say, well, I'm just a student from Sanford, but to these individuals in Perry County, you are an answer to a prayer. For Sanford University, this is Stephen Moss reporting.